Hello everyone and welcome to the Buy Smart Competition Awards for 2020. My name is Victoria Thompson and I am Queensland's Commissioner for Fair Trading. I'm speaking with you from outside Queensland's Parliament House in Brisbane CBD. I would like to respectfully acknowledge the Turrbal, the Jagara and the Yugara peoples, the traditional owners and custodians of the lands on which I am standing and pay my respects to the Elders past, present and emerging. The Office of Fair Trading has run the Buy Smart program every year since 2002. And in any normal year, we would be gathering inside Parliament House right now to announce the winners and to present the prizes in person today. But of course, 2020 has been very different from all of us. And this year, we're doing our award presentation a little differently too. To keep things interesting, the Office of Fair Trading team has asked shortlisted students to send in photos or videos of themselves to help explain their entries. Another part of the ceremony that we'll be doing differently this year is the traditional winning students group photo. So make sure that you stay tuned right to the end of today's video to see what the team has done. First of all, I'd like to offer a huge congratulations to those students who have been shortlisted for prizes today. I promise not to keep you waiting too much longer before I announce the results. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank our very important judging panel. Ian Jarrett, OAM from the Queensland Consumers Association, Deborah Clegg from the Department of Education and Catherine Peel from our own Office of Fair Trading. To the teachers, the families and the friends of all the students who participated, thank you for supporting the students. I hope you all learned something as well. The quality of entries we have received each year is outstanding and we get very excited to show off the fabulous work that students produce. To start things off, we've put together a video to showcase some of the work submitted by the students from all over Queensland, from Cairns to Burley in the 2020 Buy Smart competition. Yo, my yep. check. One, two, four, yep. three. Yep. Come yep. to the OFT yep. to learn Come your ABC. On. Now let's start yep. with A, yep. a great place yep. to start. Yep. Australian yep. consumer law yep. got stuff to make you smart. They set fair rules for businesses yep. too. They've got the tools for me and you, like budgeting. Consumer guarantees, these rights protect you if it ain't quite what you please. That is a tool, so use the tool. And work out a plan so you don't look the fool. Expenses, food and games, holidays and odds and trips on planes. Income is money that you earn, y'all hear. Jobs is what you'll need to buy gear. Kids, now listen up loud and clear. Laziness will just end in tears. Money makes the world go around, they say. But only if you're smart with it each and every day. Needs or wants, wants or needs. You've got to work out the meaning of these. Visit the OFT and check out the ABCs. Products are goods that you can buy from a cafe quiche to a drone in the sky. Research is the key, my friend. Without it, too much money you'll spend. And maybe you didn't find a refund. You won't get for a simple change of Savings are good, scans are not. Secure payment is the only way to shop. Terms and conditions set out the law Can't negotiate these, so you've got to be sure Under which umbrella you buy your goods With a valid card or a PayPal in your hood Wants or needs, needs or wants Don't get sucked in by the size of the phone Expenses, they're all okay But only if you can really pay your way Yo, yo, yo Off to the OFT to check out the ABC. I'm so pleased the Buy Smart program was able to continue strongly throughout the challenges of 2020. Now, more than ever, it is vitally important for everyone to be informed consumers, no matter our age or circumstance. Many of us have increasingly turned to online shopping while learning or working from home. Being able to shop online helps everyone stay at home when we need to, and it is important that we can spot the scammers hiding amongst the legitimate online traders. However, it is also important to remember that scams don't just happen online. And even before COVID-19, people under 18 were at risk of being targeted. That's why part of the Buy Smart program 
is focused on educating young people about how to protect themselves, their family and their friends from scammers. Teaching young people to be more savvy and more informed consumers is an important step to ensure the digital marketplace, as well as the general marketplace, continues to be fair and safe for both buyers and sellers. As part of this year's Buy Smart program, the Office of Fair Trading spoke to more than 5,000 students across Queensland in person and via video link. That is a very impressive number in this most disrupted school year. Officers discussed important topics such as consumer rights, scams, managing money, advertising and buying a first car. To help schools and parents to continue to provide this important information to students during the disruptions of 2020, we also launched Buy Smart Online, a series of three videos targeted to the three Buy Smart competition age groups. These are available free to watch on our Fair Trading YouTube channel, adding to the already comprehensive Buy Smart content and resources available online for students and schools. Today, we're here to recognise the prize winners of the 2020 competition. To all of you who entered, and to those who have been shortlisted, I say well done to you all. Prizes are a wonderful recognition, but ultimately I hope that every student who participated in the 2020 Buy Smart program has learned something valuable they can use now and into the future. The competition has three different year categories, years four to six, years seven to nine, and years 10 to 12, with a prize pool of over $15,000 awarded to winning students and their schools. These prizes are for first, second, third, and highly commended. I will also be announcing the Commissioner's School Champion Prize, an award that I chose as the Queensland Commissioner for Fair Trading. It is a special commendation to recognise the school which has done the most for supporting consumer awareness and financial capability in its students through their involvement with the Buy Smart program during the year. Let's start with announcing students who have won highly commended prizes. Starting with the years four to six category, congratulations to the following students from our youngest category. Siana and Ashlyn from year six at St. Dimpna's Catholic Primary School for their scam awareness website with video and quiz components. Isabella and Chloe from Year 5 at Kowongba State School for their calendar of budgeting and consumer safety tips. Joshua and Ed from Year 6 at Faith Lutheran College Redlands for their video on recognising impersonation scams. And we also have some highly commended entries in Year 7 to 9. A big congratulations to these students. Aidan, Zoe, Samantha, Caden, Charlotte and Jamie from Redeemer Lutheran College in Biloela for their educational TikTok account about scam awareness. Kate from Clayfield College for her board game educating young people about different scams that target people at various stages of their lives. Edward, Jacques and Bryson from Sheldon College for their combination of interactive display and a YouTube channel to educate young people about buying their first car. Amaya from St Paul's School for her James Bond flavoured animation about recognising and reporting phishing scams. Ava from Loretto College Cooperoo is highly commended for her detailed and highly informative scam safety website. And our final highly commended award goes to Jacinta, Rebecca, Georgia, Dakota, Ella and Lainey, also from Redeemer Lutheran College in Biloela. They've made a music video to provide rules for avoiding online scams. The following students have won third prize, $150 for their entry and $500 for their school or community group. Third place for years four to six goes to Julianne from St. Benedict's Catholic Primary School. Julianne made an interactive digital shopping centre display, but here she is to explain all about it. Hi, my name is Julianne. 
a year six student from St. Benedict's Catholic Primary School in Mango Hill. My topic was shopping and how retailers get consumers to spend money. I also focused on the strategies that certain companies use, upfront and online. Why did I choose this? As a fellow shopper, my presentation can also be enjoyable and beneficial for myself and others in the long term. One thing I enjoyed about creating my entry was the research, images, and hyperlinks. These allowed me to observe the ways businesses market their brand. If I do end up winning the prize, I will take advantage of all the things I've learned by buying smart. Third place for years seven to nine goes to Amy from Parklands Christian College, who made a short movie and starred as both characters. Here's Amy to tell us all about it. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm in grade eight and I go to Parklands Christian College. I decided to do online scams because I think it is important for us as teenagers to know how to spot a scam and what to do if we do get scammed. I also decided to do a video because I think it is an engaging and fun way to learn things. I also enjoyed doing this entry because I got to do it with one of my bestest friends and if I was to win the prize money, I would give some to her. I would also put some money aside to save up for a Nintendo Switch to play with my friends. I wish everyone the best of luck and thank you guys so much for watching. And in years 10 to 12, our third place recipients are Daniel and Isaac from Ashley State High School. They made a picture book for younger readers. Here's what they have to say about it. My name is Daniel, my teammate's name is Isaac, we're in grade 10 and we're from Aspley State High School. We chose fishing because it was interesting and relevant to our target market. We chose the book because it's more likely to appeal to children that are more prone to falling for fishing. The winners of second prize are awarded $250 for their entry and $1,000 for their school or community group. Second place for years four to six goes to Zach from Kedron State School. Zach made a storybook and here he is to explain all about it. Hi, my name is Zach and I'm a year five student at Kedron State School. For my entry, I research budgeting and saving. I chose this because it is something that everyone is going to have to do at some stage in their life. I thought about how I save money and incorporated that into my story. I found this topic interesting because it doesn't matter how young you are, you are, there's always going to be a way to save money. I wrote a children's book because it is a good way to convey a message to younger children. I used an app called Storyboard to illustrate my pictures. I enjoyed doing the illustrations because it was fun to create. I also enjoyed writing the plan on how the character would save money each month. If I'm lucky enough to win a prize, I think I will put the money into my bank to eventually have enough to buy a car when I'm older. Second place for Year 7 to 9 goes to Alicia, Shantaya and Hayley from Gympie State High School. They made an evidence board, which I'll let them explain to you. This evidence board shows the information evidence against Jack. Jack is a repeated scam offender who decided to send out an email about claiming more payment out of their JobKeeper to victims Maggie and Mo. Both the victims decided to try and claim more out of their JobKeeper via Jack's email as both Maggie and Mo were laid off from their jobs due to the current coronavirus pandemic. We researched the topic of scams and in particular the JobKeeper scam as it is relevant to current issues in society such as the COVID-19. Our group decided on creating an evidence board as it is different and engaging for the audience. We really enjoyed taking in this new experience and learning something new and interesting about this topic. And in years 10 to 12, our second place recipients are Gemma and Ella from St. Aidan's Anglican Girls School. They made a video parody of The Bachelorette. Here's what they have to say about it. We've decided to research dating and romance scams because we feel that it's the most detrimental scam as it not only has financial effects, but it can also be very damaging for your mental health and well-being. We made an engaging and informative spin-off video of The Bachelorette. We believe that our video will strongly resonate and educate people of all ages, especially the age group of 45 to 54, being the most susceptible to these types of scams. We definitely enjoyed the filming process the most as we had a lot of laughs along the way. And believe us, there were a lot of outtakes. If we win, we will invest the majority of our prize money into a savings account to contribute towards our first cars. We would use the leftover portion to treat ourselves to a day out after all of our hard work. With the money the school would win, we would suggest that it goes towards the business department. 
We would like it to be used as a fund for entrepreneurial students with aspirations to start their own business so that they have the resources to fuel their passions. And I am delighted to introduce the winners of first prize in their categories who will receive $500 for their entry and $2,000 for their school or community group. The winning entry for years four to six comes from Claudia and Mattia from Faith Lutheran College Redlands for their short animated video for small children. Here's the girls to tell you more. Hi, I'm Mattia. And I'm Claudia. We're in grade six and we're from Faith Lutheran College Redlands. We chose the topic of online scammers in games. We chose this because our audience is younger kids and we thought that they would relate to this topic more. We chose to do a project of animation. We chose this because once again our audience is younger kids and they would engage more in an animation. If I won some of the money, I would spend it on donating to a charity called Gamers Outreach. And I would spend my half on buying gifts for my family and I would save up the rest for in the future. Thanks. Thanks. Now to year seven to nine. Our winners for this category are from Wavell State High School Congratulations, Jaden and Noah, for their animated rap video. Let's hear what they have to say about it. Hi, I'm Jaden. And I'm Noah. And we come from Wavell State High School. The topic we chose for this competition was refunds, repairs and replacements. And we found it interesting because we wanted to let everyone know how to do refunds, how to get them and what to do. Um, we chose a song, uh, a rap song, as we thought it would be more appealing to younger students um, with the lyrics and the beat. What we found most enjoying about our presentation would, pro yeah, would probably be our lyrics as we found it very engaging towards both of us as we found a lot of fun from it. And if we were to win the prize money, we'd probably both just save it for later on in life. Thank you. Thank you. And to our final individual award, First place for years 10 to 12. Congratulations to Shay Lee from Marymount College and Oscar who is learning through home education. Oscar and Shay Lee wrote and performed the wonderful song you heard at the start of today's awards. But I'll let them tell you more. Hey, I'm Oscar, I'm in year 10 through home ed and this, no, no, this is Shay Lee. I'm also in Year 10, but at Marymount College. Our entry, the OFT ABCs, focuses on the important issue of buying smart. I researched and condensed an A to Z list of the key consumer awareness concepts and liaised with Shay Lee until we were happy. We then created a tune, rap and mini clip as we thought it would be a pretty funky and catchy way to portray our message, which will hopefully be enjoyed not only by school kids. The best part was... That I wasn't the one singing. No, honestly, we had a ton of fun making it, learning, researching and creating something a little bit different. And regardless of the outcome, we feel like we won by being shortlisted. That's right. But if we do win, as a singer-songwriter, I would love to put my money towards recording my own music. And I need to save, because I spent most of rebuilding my first car. Finally, I am delighted to announce the Commissioner's School Champion Prize of $1,500 is awarded to Parklands Christian College to recognise their commitment to the program through the COVID-19 pandemic. This was particularly after a positive case within their community required the closure of the school and the quarantining of all staff and students. Students completed their projects during and around the quarantine period. I'll hand over to the college representatives to tell us more about it. Hi, my name's Abby Dixon and I am the Parklands Christian College Business Studies teacher. My year eights worked so hard over term three um, preparing for the Buy Smart competition. They faced such adversity when the school closed for two and a half weeks and they lost all ability to really rely on me for any extra help. They worked independently, they worked studiously, and they really produced a product that's something 
that they should be proud of and I know that we at Parklands are so proud of. And we want to thank the Office of Fair Trading for providing such an enriching experience for the students. They really enjoy the ability to use their work and put it towards something bigger than just assessment or classwork. So I am so proud of Amy for being shortlisted and also for my school to be um, considered for the final award. So thank you so, so much to everyone involved. We're really proud to be here today. So that was our final prize for 2020. Well done to each and every one of our winners. As promised, we now have the big reveal of the group photo of the 2020 Buy Smart winners. I'm sure you'll all agree, this is a group of clever and creative young people. We are thrilled to call you our prize winners of Buy Smart 2020. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge every student teacher, parent or friend who has supported or participated in this year's Buy Smart program. Thank you. On behalf of the entire Office of Fair Trading and the Queensland Government, thank you for joining us today. We hope you've had fun participating in the Buy Smart program.